First at 5.30, state lawmakers one step closer now to finalizing South Carolina's new political map. A panel of House members has voted to send a map plan to the House floor, despite some criticism over the lack of competitive districts. Our Jason Raven explains. Well, the full House Judiciary Committee voted 21 to 2 with two members not voting to adopt an admitted version of the map plan. Well, the proposed map has come under criticism during the last couple of public meetings. Now, one of the biggest complaints is the lack of competitive districts. The Princeton Gerrymandering Project, which gives nonpartisan analysis of political maps, says the House's plan contains only six competitive districts. Now, the nonpartisan organization, the League of Women Voters of South Carolina, says their analysis shows 12 districts of the 124 are competitive as drawn. Now, Lynn Teague of the League of Women Voters says a lot of this comes down to demographics and where people live, but they were able to come up with a plan that created 19 competitive districts. It's a difference of seven districts. That's more than a quarter million people in South Carolina who would be uh, deprived of the right to decide for themselves in November who will represent them. It will already have been decided for them. Now, the League of Women Voters has asked lawmakers to reconsider the House plan and focus on keeping communities together rather than protecting incumbents. Now, state lawmakers held 11 public meetings across the state to discuss the redistricting plan. We have worked, I can tell you, diligently to make districts con contiguous and compact from the lines uh, as they were approved by the Department of Justice and the federal and state courts back in 2011. We heard from citizens, we heard from interest groups throughout the state, um, and in our effort to fairly and reasonably consider communities of interest, uh, and of course, incumbency in addition to all that criteria I just mentioned. Well, the map is now being sent to the House floor where lawmakers are expected to reconvene here in Columbia in December to take this up. In Columbia, Jason Raven, 7 News.